If we all had to drive the same car, the seventh generation Volkswagen Golf could be the egalitarian choice. I'm Tom Volk with Driven for the New York Times. Uh, think about it, when launched in 1974, it replaced the Beetle, the original people's car. A two-door Golf starts at just under 19 grand, but various models can please all but the luxury buyer. Volkswagen does not skimp on the powertrain choices. There's the all-electric e-Golf, the incredibly fuel-efficient TDI diesel, the high-performance GTI, one of my favorite cars, and if that's not potent enough for you, there's the all-wheel drive R model. This is the version most will buy, the TSI. It gets its scoot from a velvety 1.8-liter turbocharged four-cylinder. There's 170 horsepower, and 200 pound-feet of torque low in the power band. A six-speed automatic is standard in this top-line SEL model. It's not the dual-clutch unit in the GTI. With a hint of turbo lag, the TSI does the dash to 60 miles an hour in just under eight seconds. There's no torque steer, that's the tugging of the steering wheel in front-wheel drive cars with decent power. Golf has that intangible German feel to it, very quiet, comfortable, and refined. FYI, most Golfs sold in North America are made in Mexico. Longer, wider, and lower than the outgoing car, it's lighter by up to 79 pounds. That helps fuel efficiency. Compared to the old base engine, it's up by six miles per gallon highway. A reason to smile, but it's the driving dynamics that will make you grin. It's a hoot to chuck into corners. Remember, this is the standard Golf. It handles better than most competitor sport models. Makes me really want to drive the GTI. The IIHS rates Golf a top safety pick. If the cabin's material quality were any better, Golf would be draining sales away from Audi. There are premium touches. It sounds solid too. Gauges are clear. Well-bolstered heated seats work for nearly everyone, but real leather is not available. The interface is smartly designed. The screen is small, but uses its real estate well. The Fender sound system rocks. Plugging directly into your phone or iPod requires a proprietary cord. There's no USB port? That's a feature that's been pretty common in cars for the past five years, Volkswagen you might want to look into that. You'll hear the backup camera doing its thing. At least it stays clean. If you have a family or a carpool often, this space is very usable. The seats are nicely contoured. Foot, knee, leg, and headroom are good, not overly generous. Two grown-ups will have few issues back here. Allow me to demonstrate why hatchbacks rule. Sedans have a tough time handling one of these. Golf happily swallows two. Who needs a crossover? Choose between maximum cargo room or a little space under the floor to stash a computer out of sight. Golf does the usual hatchback tricks and can haul skis with folks in the back. With the floor in its highest position, the trunk is as large as many mid-sized sedans. That's a five-pack score. Reliability? Well, Golf is new, but Consumer Reports says Volkswagen, as a brand, is average these days, with quality varying depending on model. The chiseled lines are evolutionary. The silhouette hasn't changed much in 40 years. This one, fully loaded, comes in just under $30,000. If that seems expensive, the spendy feel gives it value. Thankfully, there are many cars to choose from, but if there weren't, the Volkswagen Golf is a crowd pleaser.